Now, as to how we begin our search, I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi, but I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes. So if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, And you can use this window to reach the roof. Find Lord Ishin, and ask if he knows how we might sever the ties of immortality. He's recuperating in one of the watchtowers outside this castle keep. Reach the roof from that open window, then follow the Nightjar smoke signals. I entrust this task to you. Find Lord E. He's re- I-
About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Sake. What? You earned it. Take it. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The Mortal Blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The Mortal Blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Hmm. To kill a monster such as that, You'd need the mortal blade. Here. Are you offering me the sake I gave you? <laughs> Delightful. I'll take it. That's the stuff. By the way, how was Genichiro? What do you mean? You two crossed blades, did you not? Uh-huh. To put it simply, he was strong, and he had... unusual techniques. I see. What exactly is the Lightning of Tomoe? <laughs> that! It's a technique belonging to Genichiro's mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor? Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. When you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths of the ocean. <laughs> I was completely taken by her, and it almost killed me. I've lived a long life, but that was the closest I've come to death. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro! Hesitate. And you lose. <laughs> 